Alrighty, maybe this is better. I am not too damn sure. Hold on, let me put my headphones on. Alright, so I think the audio is coming in clear. Should be. I don't know. I'm just... Alrighty. I'm just gonna try to hitting random spaces. Yo, what's up? Oh, no problem. <laughs> Facts. Copyright. Let me get out the sit base. Bonjour, what's up? Tell me uh, how the stream looks to you guys, cause I know uh, it's been kind of lagging. I had to switch my uh, like settings. Tell me if my uh, audio is sounds okay too. I'm I'm trying to wait for like mad mad people to come through. Uh, how do I get PlayStation Home still? I'm basically using a offline client, which you can test yourself. Um, well, basically, um, if either if you have a Dex PlayStation 3 or a debug unit, or if you have a or, or a PC that's beefy enough to use RPCF3, it's still blurry a little bit. Here. I don't know what the stream is running at. For me, it's saying 360p, but it should be at least at 720. I'm just waiting for I uh, I could get like more people in the stream because I had like 19. Oh, okay. Thank you, Jinx. Because I was like, what? I'm like, if it's blurry, I'm about to punch my computer. All right, cool, cool, cool. All right, so audio's good, video's good. Well, all right, so everything's good. All righty, so basically today's live stream, I'm just going to be chilling on PlayStation Home. I really don't have like a general purpose for this. I'm just going to be uh, showcasing some spaces to you guys, whoever joins, and uh, yeah. One of the spaces I do want to show show you um, is some development spaces, which are like never been seen or never were like in the retail builds for home, which I thought was pretty cool. So I'll show you some of those uh, today. There is over 200 plus spaces. All right, cool. Yeah, there's over 200 plus spaces that I can like pick through. I basically have all the main ones as well as like really where or you excuse me, like rare scenes and spaces. Um. I'm trying to show you one of my favorite development scenes. Let me see. Um, we could try these development scenes. ACS Aeronauticalist. I can't even pronounce that, but I know this was some uh, development scene or space that was in like the home development HDK and it was basically utilized for uh, home developers back in the day. Alrighty, so this space right here, like not until like a month ago or maybe even like a week ago um what you call it this is like one of the spaces that was utilized in like the development unit or basically for developers it's pretty cool i like it it has like this steampunk type of vibe to it nah, i like it also like the sky to it seems like it'll come off like some weird disney movie or whatever <laughs> Thanks for everybody who's joining. Thank you for that. 
Um, but yeah, if you guys want to go to uh, what you gonna call it, go to any spaces, let me know. Thirteen people in here now. That's cool. Fourteen. What's up? Hey, James. I don't even know which spaces I've been working on. I could show you guys uh, what you gonna call it. What I've been currently working on. I've been working on uh, Japanese Home Square, the daytime edition, and I'm gonna go and release this. The hub. Yeah, I could go to the hub. I've been um kind of working in between the hub and like multiple spaces just to get it fixed. The pirate ship map. Uh, you're talking about cutthroat. Yeah, we have that. What I can do is just kind of like make a list. So I'm going to show you what I've been working on and then we could go to the hub and then we could go to that. Yeah, we could go to Midway. I have Midway 1, 2, and 3. The mini game doesn't work though. Holy hell. Alrighty, so um, we're in Japanese Home Square right now. It will take a little while for it to load since um, there's a lot of posters in this space and it's kind of running off my PC, which some weirdly has a delay. So right here, um, I'll show you guys what I was working on. What I did basically for this uh, space was added like original Japanese posters and stuff. Um, this actually came from Japan home while it was up and I did add some other custom stuff uh, I could show you here since you know the PlayStation 5 released or well its announcement I did add like some PlayStation 5 poster up here just to kind of give it like a new modern vibe to the uh, space itself Uncharted 3 I think so and Luna is this hard to get everything back and working uh, yeah it is and then no it's not like it, it depends on how much data we have plus on the ability if we can restore the data itself here's some other posters I added to this space probably one of my two favorite like gaming series I love Kingdom Hearts so I wanted to you know added a kind of a Japanese vibe to this space so I added like Persona 5 and like just some Kingdom Hearts uh, the cover art to those both games um, I added over here uh, Hatsune Miku uh, the home concert. I got this video off randomly from um, what you might call it YouTube, and I thought it was just a good fit since it did take place in Home Square back in the day. So I did that. Um, there's some other stuff I did, like I added official like um, what you might call it advertisements that were utilized back in PlayStation Home. So right here you can see the Black Rock Shooter outfit. That was once, um, you know, a purchasable item, plus just some showcasing some stuff from CDN. Yeah, facts. If Home was on PS5, I'll probably copy, like, day one. But, yeah, you can see some of, like, you know, old clothing items that was sponsored here. You can see that, like, the official threads advertisement that was utilized in Japan. Then, yeah. Um, here's my, like, a little official logo or whatever. I usually do this just as an Easter egg and just to leave my imprint on the scene um here's the black rock shooter like gaming poster added here for music cafe and this was one of like the official play community japanese like advertisements that used to be in japan huh? which i thought was pretty fire um back here it's just the playstation home logo uh what what does it say for destination home do you have to keep adding the new updates to uh every personal update yeah so basically anytime i release the patches for you guys um in terms of that what you gonna call it um you basically got to install it in chronological order so patch one through i don't even know how, how much i have now like 12 you have to install it if you want like new clothing and spaces and stuff i will release this patch today with the japanese home space but yeah um but right here i added our uh you know discord link and i added in japanese or or basically in like japanese text and i added like some cool wallpaper i made uh the other day when i was bored um 
here are some other like official posters that used to come from Japan home uh, sponsoring the last ranker game so I added that in here also I gave you know credit to our team so our offline content team these are the guys who helped me you know produce offline content for you guys and then of course the official destination home team that's working on like online and stuff but yeah that's um basically it for this space i noticed somebody said they wanted to go to the hub and we could go to there there's so many damn uh <laughs> spaces it's kind of hard to scroll down through all right so we're going to go to the hub and then cutthroats hey fire would it be hold on hold on so many questions would it be possible to add new content in the future Na uh, mainly new spaces yes that is totally possible uh basically does the hub have original music yes we've um one of my colleagues or the team member i'm working with we are planning on to add a uh, custom music how did i get the idea of destination home uh it wasn't really an idea it's kind of a group of people who wanted to, to preserve home um but yeah here's the hub um, it's kind of like in a not working fully uh stage or basically it's still in a work in progress i've been trying to add like activity boards and stuff so you can see like i've been adding discord posters i've been trying to add like original posters to the spaces itself um i need to add this poster right here i added a uh, kind of a old adidas poster i found from cash data i love adidas so always you know wanted to you know add stuff i usually like into the client for ps5 i'm not too sure like i haven't heard anything about that personally um here's the exclusive shop so back in the day if you wanted to buy like that 50 dollar gold suit and you know spend all your damn money you could and you just you know shop here uh the estate store will be located here and then um i don't even think i have the music running now i oh, know i actually do my tv though um but yeah you can see here that the music is working i kind of will show you a little trick what sony did which is pretty damn sneaky let me um go to my pc real quick all right so basically how the hub music works which i'll show you now there's an underground screen under the hub. Like, basically, uh, if you were ever in the hub in online servers, um, basically what Sony did was have via on their CDN, just like an MP4 video playing with the music. So you can see here, that's how it's operating the music. And then there's like, um, I, I don't know the exact word to it, but there's like an actual like uh, sound thing. So basically, if you guys any remember any time walking into the hub, you'll hear the music here. And then, um, you know, this kind of like a uh, sound waves, like it's capped off. Yeah, everything will be for free when it comes to online. Please put it on PS5. Uh, I don't even know how. I doubt the PS5 will be compatible with the PC at all. I mean, the PS3 due to like the cell and different architecture. If the PS5 somehow has a PlayStation 3 like chip in it or some crazy emulator, then possibly with some mods, then yeah, sure. Um, next space, oh uh, damn, somebody said Cutthroats. Actually, the Cutthroats battle game is fixed due to one of uh, my friends, and he's also on the offline content team, Wanma. I, hopefully, I am pronouncing his name right. I just call him Wan, but uh, he actually got one of the mini games working for Cutthroats um let me see oh yes we have so many locomotions right now we have all the clothing in inventory yes jinx is like the clothing god like she goes ham um could I put this on a PS4? Unfortunately, no. The simple answer is no, but I mean, yes. If I think it'll be like a really unorthodox way, but if you ran like home off of like Linux on a PlayStation 4 and somehow got an RPCS3 running on Linux, 
then you could possibly do it but it's like you'll jump through so many damn hoops before i guess playing home officially um but yeah we could go see some uh lmos and stuff like my wardrobe is kind of crazy because I, I use like this client for testing and stuff. That's the whole goal is to have a fully online client. The, the next step uh, that we're doing, well, the online team is trying to get into lobby. We already initialized online per se, but we need to get in lobby so we can join basically from like, uh, I guess another PS3 in simplest terms. All right, so somebody said they wanna see LMOs. I could show you some of my LMOs that I really, really like uh, personally, like some of the dances and stuff. Um. There's a bunch of stuff like, I don't know if you guys remember from the EU or not from the EU, but from America, they had like the Dr. Pepper little thing where you could walk around as the damn soda machine. You know with Nebula that there could be a small company, you could do what they're doing. The difference of what we're doing versus like those companies, they're actually officialized uh, companies that are like signed up via with like DevNet and stuff. We're just a preservation group at the end of the day. Oh, it's going to take more than a uh, simple DNS and Apache. Like, basically, it's reverse engineering uh, Medius itself. And then um, basically trying to, you know, reinvigorate or rejuvenate a server. I wish it was that damn easy just to, like, put a damn DNS code in and we just have online. Here's some other stuff. Like, one of my, I like, I used to always well i used to never like buy a mad dance moves on home but i used to always like the harlem shake one because i'm from new york so it's kind of cool <laughs> i don't know but uh yeah here's the cutthroat space somebody wanted to see i could show you that the mini game somewhat works so you know you could see me on a damn pirate ship over here i didn't really play this game that much back on playstation home but um it's pretty cool that we have it working on the offline client for sure. Um, what I may do is, oh yeah, I will show X7 because I know that will be in the next update I will have for you guys to play around with. So we can actually go into X7 real quick. Can we play the midway games? All right, so basically uh, a lot of spaces or scenes itself uh they have encrypted mini games or basically they have encrypted lua files so it makes it kind of difficult to rebuild those games since like the source code to those games are encrypted so a lot of spaces like uh konami penthouse have that issue a bunch of the midway games because i could probably find them in our like people's data and try to restore them but a lot of the uh, mini games you know doesn't work due to that reason what the hell I was doing? Oh, yeah, X7. Um, There's a bunch of, like, spaces in I could show you guys, which is pretty cool because I remember just showing off, like, maybe 30 or 40 scenes. Yes, uh, my boy DeadSec fixed it last night. He was like, yo, Nagato, go ahead and send me some X7 music. I'm like, bet. And I'm like, we he fixed it. So that will be in the next update. I remember in the last two years of home, they were trying to make the game. Um, I think I know what you're talking about. The community, not the, yeah, not the community lounge, but the last version of home square. So version four was compatible with EU and us servers. So if you had an EU account, you could go on to, um, the EU servers and like, or, you know, NA people or United States people could go to vice versa. Um, but here's X seven. I did find a damn mini game to it, but it's encrypted, like the little flirting thing. <laughs> I used to never chill in X7, but I know mad people. Yo. You hear like the music in the background. Hopefully this music ain't damn copyrighted. I'm gonna have to anything out. But you can see like the dancers and animations are working. Um, you can see this dude like jamming out. I know X7 was like an NA exclusive for like the US region. How's the stream guys? Is it still lagging or is it still like, or everything is like Gucci? 
because I'm like multitasking right now. Hold on. Does this game work on gaming computers? Uh, basically, uh, gaming computers. Oh, the damn music. Why is it so dark? I don't even know, bro. Like, home had really, like, bad lighting issues. Like, a lot of spaces are, like, dark as hell for no reason. Kind of lagging. Oof. Damn, it's probably my net. Let's see, we could go to Siren. Ah, uh, okay. I'm wondering why. It's probably because I was moving around on the PC. My PC is kind of ass. Um, we could go to Siren. I have everything in alphabetical order. I'm not too sure I'm going up the damn list. Um, what? Where is the siren? I swear to God, I probably passed it. I can't even spell. Uncharted? Nope, that's not it. Where the damn letter S is? Hold on, sodium hub. Uh, the is feeling flirty mod. I actually, uh, what you might call it, I actually seen that in the actual uh, dot cell file, like the is flirty thing. And I could probably activate it if I really wanted to. I know what you're talking about. It's like, you know, is feeling happy, is feeling flirty. You can't activate that. What's PlayStation Home? PlayStation Home was a social world back on the PlayStation 3. Oh, I went to the wrong damn siren. I think we do have the Resident Evil space and we got your latest build. Thank you so much. Oh, no worries. It was like a team effort. Yeah, I think sometimes if I have like too many damn things running on my PC, which I do at the moment, which I should cancel this out, then yeah. Siren will be dark as hell and I need to... Uh I don't even think the mini game is working for me right now because of some thing. And I need to fix that really, really quickly. Hold on. Cause I know I got, oh, we'll say this weird error. Not the ward or the spare. Yeah, it says the activity is like unavailable, but I have a quick fix to that, that I need to, uh, what you might call it just to install really quickly let me see something you probably hear me on the pc right now i'm going to try to get the siren game to you know get up and running because i think sometimes when i overwrite certain files uh, the mini games for certain spaces will not run so give me a second on that hi nagato so many memories siren was one of my favorite spaces i never played siren that much but i know mad people who liked it so what i'm going to do is just um try to fix it really quickly and then see what i can uh do i'm just throwing my pc in the background trying to find where did i have that fix at because i know i usually keep everything in like a certain folder for like my patches and stuff Alright, I found Siren. Okay. Let me see. This should fix it. Not too sure why it's not working, but whatever. I am going to... Uh, I'm going to reload the space in a second once everything's copying over. Damn, screens are working too. Yes, we did fix the space screens. Toyo Kyle helped me out with that. And um, I'm the one who basically uh, put them in. All right, PlayStation Home and Siren are my favorite things. Will it be uh, possible for Konami? Sadly, I don't think unless 
we figure out a way on how to decrypt Lua files, then yes. And I really, really am sad about that because Konami Penthouse was like my spot. Would be nice if the game worked. Which uh, game? Siren? The PC. Or wait. Right now, I'm just trying to copy Siren over again. Hopefully, it will work this time. I'm not too sure why is it like bitching. I probably suck at Siren, bro. Like, <laughs> when I was on home, I never used to play Siren like that. All right, so let's see if that did anything. All right, you may start the game now. All right, yeah, so the game worked. I don't know what does, what you would call it, or like what causes that issue, but um, yeah. <laughs> Let me. Is the stream lagging again? Because I see like some error. Ah, damn, what the hell? Alrighty, maybe that did it. What I did was just not went into Siren. <laughs> I'm not too sure what causes my PC to just... I think it may be my internet because I'm not too sure. How is everything now? Is everything like fine? See, this is weird. It seems like when I play mini games, my PC wants to like die on me. But even though I am live streaming off my uh, PlayStation 3, smooth now see that's very weird to me i'm not too sure maybe i'm gonna have to take a look in some settings and i maybe uh check it out later on just to see uh what's the damn issue why am i lagging um i'm gonna take a little breather from siren and see what i could do with the settings and then yeah but is there anything else that y'all guys want to see in terms of spaces because there's like a ton I think since I'm bored, I'm gonna dress like a pimp. Hold up. <laughs> I'm gonna dress as one of the old Singstar freaking pimps. So, um, where do y'all guys wanna go? <laughs> Harry Potter? We do have Deegan Alley, I think. Or, yeah, I know we do. Um, where is it located? should have it labeled as the letter H, so it should be, um, let me see. I wish I could add more spaces with like just into favorites or it's better categorized because scrolling through this list can be a pain. Harry Potter, Pottermore. Oh yeah, we have two Harry Potter spaces. We could go to Deegan Alley then. We could have Pier Park too. Could I make my avatar have a long neck or big head? Yes, I can. I could turn on like speed run. I forgot the commands to it exactly, but uh, yeah, I can. Peer Park works. Um, I think I need to figure out how to fix the music to Peer Park. I'm not too sure if it had like a internal uh, like like underground like video player or if it actually used like some object. If it used the object, then I may be screwed. But if it had like some audio like a uh, video then I can um, try to fix it manually by adding like a actual MP3 or excuse me, MP4 video. It's just loading now. Let me check my PC to see what the output logs is doing. Alrighty. 
Yeah, it's loading. Sometimes certain spaces take mad time to lo load. Yeah, we could go to LBP. Yeah, here's Deegan Alley. This is like one of the, like, the older sp or not older, but like the newer spaces. But you can see here, I'm not like a really Harry Potter buff, but uh, Diagon. I don't even know how to pronounce it. Deegan or Diagon Alley. You can see here, um, there's animation. Like, I thought I saw a bird in here. And I need to fix the sky, unless the sky is supposed to look like this, which maybe not. I need to probably fix that later on. But um, you can see here, this is Deegan Alley. Yo, you can't even lie, my outfit look fresh, right? <laughs> I know there's the train station too, which is in bad shape because it's requesting objects from like the server. I like how this place got like some like it looks like an old Disney movie from like France or whatever. I can't take myself seriously. I gotta switch back out. Your facts. <laughs> um, we can take a look at the other Harry Potter space, bro. There's so many damn clothes. What? I don't even know. I'm going to change my clothing because I don't know. I, I used to do this all on home all the time to like just always change my clothing for no reason. Uproar. Yeah, we're going to go to uproar. So we're going to go into uh, what you might call it. Another Harry Potter space. Then we're going to go to Pier Park, uproar. Cause I'm trying to like get everybody's request. Oh no, the textures are messed up. Yeet. Okay, let's go to the other Harry Potter space, then Pier Park, and then we could go to uh, another one. Facts, yo, we got the white Tims. <laughs> I just, I just needed like a Yankee hat and a silky, and then I, I could look like an official New Yorker. I think there is Timberlands on home though. To be honest, like if I probably sit down and like really look for some look alike Timberlands, I could look like a a Fifty Cent remake gangster. Twenty seven people joined. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. Cause I wasn't even gonna live stream. I literally was just bored, and I was like. Okay, I need to do something because I was like feeling just like, I don't know. I didn't want to like work on anything. So I was like, let me just live stream. It's something for the people. But all right, here is Harry Potter of the Great Hall. Yo, this boy li living well. Look at these. Look at this boy mansion. Also, are we going to when we're going to get the online servers? Um. In terms of online, there's never an ETA because it's not like I could give an exact date, like, uh, I don't know, August 12th or whatever. Um, that's going to be the exact date. Since reverse engineering a server is something that uh, takes quite a while to do. And it's, yeah. And, yeah, I see the lag, too. I'm not too sure why that happens. Um, but, yeah, here is Deegan Alley. Yeah, I'm, I think it's my internet, bro, because... I'm not too sure like sometimes I live stream and it's fine but today it's like not vibing with me let me do this real quick I'm gonna like literally cut out the stream all right and then I'm gonna start it again all right so that's what I'm I think I'm gonna do like all right see now it's probably better right it says excellent condition on my end yeah I don't know why it does that I think it's probably my net but um somebody said they wanted to go to pier park and then uproar so let's go ahead and take a little trip to that mm. that reminds me there is a winter version of pier park and i need to get that correctly set up 
up for you guys i was trying to there are some spaces i did not include in the build because for some reason they kind of overwrite with each other like i was trying to do grandzilla southern hideaway the original version but um it interferes with the valentine's day one from 2013 so i'm not too sure why i have to like take a look at like the actual environment and see what i can do like to try to le or to try to manually change files right here I'm not too sure if this was a poster board or not, or if this was like, um, whatchamacallit. The Ferris wheel I did find, and I think since the Ferris wheel was considered as a object, I have to kind of rebuild it and it's probably more than likely encrypted. Um, but yeah, here is Pier Park. I know there used to be music that would play right here. I'm not too sure if there was an actual object. Actually, what's up, VHS master? I'm going to test my theory right now. If I see a damn, uh, like, a screen under here, then, um, no, there's no screen. It's probably just an object. Yeah, I'm not too sure because more than likely it had to be an object. For the music to be playing because unlike the hub it didn't have like an underground screen unless there's like something within but i don't see it yeah i don't see it underground so it probably was a object it was a poster hmm if it was a poster i could probably turn this into a i could have sworn it was like a movie like i don't know maybe i'm tweaking yeah i have to figure out how to add music because just trying to see you know what would be really cool though like if home would allow you to like walk on this dock right here and then you could like chill on the ship with your friend like i don't know why they didn't allow you to do that i mean like the model is right here i'm not too sure if there's any collision but it'll be pretty cool nah there's not even a first or second floor it's just or it kind of is but yeah but yeah here is your boy pier park i used to chill here a lot too and then I remember you could walk in Indy Park right here, the cinema, but yeah, Pier Park was, whatchamacallit. Holy snap, there's 30 people here. Was the music file a Lua script? Probably was Lua. I know the um cinema, or not cinema, but the, um damn it, there's so many damn items in my head. Um, the... Not the roller coaster. I can't even. Uh, the damn Ferris wheel. Yeah. Oh, snap. I went to another space. I, I forgot. After this, we're going to Uproar, though. Damn. Hey. Hello, Gaki. Um, here is a sports park. There's something that I pretty uh, did pretty cool with this space. Um, I kind of give it like a whole like um, what you might call it, like a rework, I should say. I kind of added. I love basketball, so what I did was is kind of give it a full like basketball type of theme. So I have my boy Kobe over here. So rest in peace kobe very tragic situation what happened to him and his daughter and everybody on that flight crew i got my boy lebron right here um i got actually the 19 like 83 um slam dunk contest with michael jordan and dominique wilkins and i added that into here kind of give it like a sports bar feel so you can see my boy jordan about to you know dunk on this man but yeah over here i have since i'm from new york i like to add like you know just new york type of theme stuff so i have like my boy rain gretzky from the hockeys and i have uh patrick ewing he's gonna show up soon for the new york knicks like i love 90s basketball so yeah i added that over here as like some custom content and then i added one of my favorite basketball players of all time even though i'm like a 90s kid i love dr j even though he was like from the 70s and 80s bro was fire like dude dude was like icy um 
I added like this cool thing right here uh, where if you take your phone, you could use this QR code, excuse me, QR code, and you could join the Discord from like Destination Home. So anybody who places this build, if you got like a QR code reader for like a uh, Discord, you can join our Discord that way. I was trying to think of like innovative stuff like that. Um, but we're gonna go to Upper War since I promised that. I'm trying to see. All right, cool. the game probably won't work i forgot i think even with the game i never played up war like that but i'm assuming you would need two players anyway and it's probably a real time uh game or rtg game they call it but here's up war in the space I know uh, if you enter the space, you got some like cool like hoodies and like a uh, beanie or whatever, if I remember. I know those mad posters, I never played it. So I could probably, I'm not too sure if there was like videos playing in this space, but I could probably do something themed around uproar. Damn, I've been live streaming for 42 minutes. Yo, time flies. Any Lockwood spaces working? Uh, yeah, I actually restored one uh, the other day. We could take a look at uh, that one. We got Uproar. This was from a US home. And oh, if you start air, I'm restarting the stream back up really quick. So if there's a dip, let me know. All right, so it's excellent condition. That's what I'm going to be doing. But yeah, here's uproar. Um, somebody said LBP too. Wait, what was the other space? I'm keep forgetting. I was moving like a pier park. I don't even know what space we're going to go to. Oh, Lockwood. Online, there's not an ETA since it's dealing with like reverse engineering. The next step what we need to do for online is get into a lobby server so we can actually connect to two people. Um, but Lockwood, let's I'll take a look at the Lockwood space I finished and I added. Um, oh, the Godfather, I fixed that space too. A lot of memories in the Godfather, a lot of people beefing in the damn Godfather. bruh there's got to be a fast way i could type all this uh like the metadata manually so i could just hop to spaces but uh i don't think i want to do that we're gonna go to lockwood dream central my boy uh beastie or i think his name is beastly had it via in his uh whatchamacallit uh and his cash and then yeah Oh snap, uh, somebody retweeted my live stream and the, and the thing. All right, so here is uh, Lockwood Dream Central. You can see here, I added like original posters that were centralized around like Lockwood stuff. So what I did was like look through like y'all guys' data and just m like literally spent almost like hours on end trying to add original content. Like, this was like one of the original hairstyles that was for the guys. Um, I also added like a video sponsoring like Lockwood and stuff that was used to like do a showcase. Um, I was adding some of like the mecha suits and whatnot. But yeah, 
I was just trying to add like stuff that were centralized around Lockwood. And that's one of the spaces I restored. I really like this space. I remember this used to be kind of like a hub when like mad people join. Scrolling through the screen to find a level is pretty nostalgia. Yeah. Um, we could take a look. We could take a look at the Lockwood uh, gift space. Now, this space is missing like mad objects because the way how like certain spaces, like certain spaces work differently. Like certain spaces may have like everything in it versus like this. There used to be like a giant ass teddy bear or whatever, if I recall, and it would just like sit right here. And they would just have like clothing and other stuff. But this is like the old Lockwood like um, gift shop, I believe, or a venue. I don't know what it's exactly called because I'm just like skimming through stuff. But this used to be a place um, I, I didn't win here like a lot of the times, but I do like the overall design of it. It does have like this really modern artsy type, you know, 21st century like art museum feel. Mm hmm. I do know what you're talking about via the exhibition. They even got like mm, like girl and boy bathrooms. That's crazy. Like somebody is like that's why I love about home. There's always such like attention to uh, detail. Oh look, there's a little panda up there. Hold up, check this out, guys. There's a cute ass panda up there. Um. It moves. I think that's a panda or a little bear. He look lonely, man. Yo, send some hearts for this panda. He looking sad. Bro, I want him. I wonder if there's any other secret damn stuff up here. Hold up. I don't see anything. But I just noticed that out the side of my eye. There was like a little panda or bear thing. A bulldog panda? Yeah. Thank you. Well, it's a group effort. I, I'm like, I tell people this, like people think I'm like running everything. I'm not. I'm just like a little small cog in a big machine. I just play my role. Yeah, I know it was sad. Um, somebody said LBP. We could go to the, the playground, a little big play, playground. I know, right? Bruh, I'm gonna get that pet out. I know, right? They left boy in there for like five years. Crazy. Here is Little Big Planet. I love this space just because of the whole vibe it has. Like, I just like how everything is just moving. Oh, yeah. I wonder if it was a poster here. Ooh, I could add a little nice little big planet poster later on. It's kind of cool to do these live streams for you guys, especially because like for me, I'm always working on home and it's like home was one of my favorite games and I have so much fun uh, developing for it or like redeveloping and restoring its stuff. But um. It's really wholesome when I get to see, even if it's like one person in the live stream or 10 people, they, uh, you know, they enjoy seeing this stuff. And it does mean a lot to me for you guys to, you know, check me out. I usually do these live streams randomly. I shouldn't like have a schedule, but um, the like the last past four or five live streams or I have done, I just literally just upload. Do you have all the guide stuff? I have the female moderator jacket. I, I do have the guide um hands. I could show you real quick. Now your boy fresh. Well, not really. I want to change my clothes. Yeah, Jinx is like, bro, like the goat for real. Like I just help her QA stuff, but um, she mainly does all the clothing. Like, literally, all of this is mostly her work. Like, I only pick out some stuff. Like, I pick and choose, like, the Dance Dance Revolution stuff. But um, other than that, yo, like, she's the one who's doing, like, oh, all the work in terms of that. Yo, this jacket I used to wear all the damn time back on home. I used to love this jacket. 
I need to fix some of those icons, but my build, I don't really care. But yeah, here's like the old guide uh, thing. So this was actually used for like official guides back on PlayStation Home. Yes, home's loading times are trash. Horrendous, my guy. Like, they just, they just, that's a part of home culture. Um, we're going to go to another space. I don't know. I do want to show some development spaces because um, I think development spaces are really cool personally because they were never like seen before um i gotta find some because like i know they're like all scattered everywhere yes preserving home is like a really hard thing oh i can show you this space all right so this was um a development scene yes we do need pika fox monsters bro i want my little like red dude his name was sparky I really wanted that game to be localized in America. Like I, I, I dead ass asked uh, Pikvox. I was like, "Yo, when it was out, Pikvox monsters was like they had so many cool ass clothing." Um, but here is one of these development spaces. This was um like a mini game, but right now i have to sh like switch to my female character because for some odd reason the space doesn't work with um male with male rigs so i don't know i was just testing stuff so see this space won't work since they need uh it needs a second person i'm not too sure if you're using like real-time games let me see if I go to dev debug. Yeah, you can see here where it says on local player join request. It's kind of requesting for a, another player to join. But um, what I'll do is real quick. Oh, I'm in activity. I got to reload the. Oh, damn it. Don't tell me it's messing up. All right, I got to. Let me see. Yeah, I'll go to my personal space. What I'll do is just come back to this actual space itself. And oh, before I go, let me switch back to a guy because um, for some reason, the space doesn't like to like get out of the mini game. But this was like a first per person shooting like dev sample space that was only for like development use. All right, so we're going to go back to the cargo hold. And what I'll do is I'll type this command on my PC and we could take a better look at the screen or at the whole damn space itself. So you can see here, this is like kind of the area map. And I guess if you had two players and one online is on, I'm going to test this out with somebody. Uh, but you can see here um, that this space uh you know was probably used for like shooting like they probably had guns and stuff i'm not too sure about like the origin but you can see here like all these damn obstacles it looked mad cool to be honest like this is on some like early call of duty stuff i wonder if you could like scope people and everything and um let me just you can see kind of out the map it's kind of like a, in a warehouse type setting it gives me like the og like call of duty mw vibes and stuff like that like on one of those early missions but you can see here um you know this is one of like some development environment spaces i'll try to find another one there are a couple of them like there's weird stuff like this but it's not used for like purpose use bootlegger yeah have you ever seen an actual moderator that worked for home i actually did seen alrana in the eu server yeah she i think there was a couple of people that were like actual like moderators on home that worked for like the moderation team like i know glass walls is one of them but um yeah here's one of like the development sample scenes and um it really isn't for like the end user however it is for you know just for development purposes which i always like these type of spaces i think they're pretty cool like i'm a nerd like that i just i don't know there's another development safe space that I wish they released to the public. 
um it's called day and night cycles and it's kind of like this japanese oriented garden space and it's really really cool i love it I'm not even sure when I'm ending my live stream, but yeah, here's one of my favorite spaces. It has like this um Japanese garden type theme, and you can see like the space itself is talking about like the atmosphere, and it's talking about like the sky, and you can see here how it's like animated. Really love this space. I wish it, what you call it. I really wish they released it. I could change the cycle speed to the space so it like gets really really crazy so it looks like it's um whatchamacallit yeah it's only for like development purposes holy hell that is too damn fast but um yeah it was just i guess for developers who are trying to learn about uh making skies for certain spaces um yeah what i would like to do is kind of use this development scene and try to import other skies to spaces so um I may take like, I don't know, Central Plaza and make it like a nighttime Central Plaza. I may do that actually. How would you guys like that? Like having a straight up nighttime Central Plaza or like, you know, a uh, straight up like sunset Central Plaza. Cause I could probably do that just by like importing different skies and messing with the HDK and stuff. But yeah, I love like the whole Japanese garden band side, like feel to it. All right, we're gonna go to, I don't even know, bro. Yeah, I could probably do that. Um, Oh, we could go to E3 2012 theater. I could show you guys what I did for that space. Uh, something I fixed up. I added like an original 2012 press conference for the PlayStation Vita. If you guys know me from my channel, then um, yeah. Yeah, certain spaces did support like real time, uh, like animated skies. Japan Home Square, I added that into. Nighttime Edo, I think they already had a nighttime Edo, but yeah, I could. That's what I plan on doing. Like after, like if I'm bored or whatever, is try to like make other versions of spaces and then just recompile it up for you guys as a quote unquote new scene. Because that's what I basically did the other day. But here's E3 2012. This space was for the E3 uh, 2012 press conference. And, um, yeah. Do I have a war? Yeah, I do. But the teleport machines don't work because they're encrypted minigame, sadly. I could possibly, like, fly over the map and stuff or just teleport to different sectors. But that may be uh, a bootleg way of doing this. Where is Aurora? I think I use, yeah, I use version 1.9. I wonder what they used to make models and how they use uh, or how they enabled it so many players. Um We have SingStar. I fixed our I helped fix the SingStar like the overall space. I fixed the dance floor. My boy Wanma, he fixed like the actual uh, custom like machine or like the little jukebox. Um but yeah, here is Aurora. What I'm going to do is go into a uh, debug cam mode and um, I'm going to uh, travel that way since I don't want to fall off the map. Um, okay, so here's Aurora. I know they have this in Atom Universe too, which is pretty cool. Yeah, but here's the original Aurora. I know this was like the old runner minigame. I used to play it sometimes. I, I didn't. I still to this day don't know how to fully play it, but I know you just have to like run around the island and collect these orbs. But yeah, and I gotta fix the sky for this. I need to look at old home videos to see like what, like I don't even know why skies don't work on home for certain spaces, but I need to like try to figure it out. Yo, look at these penguins. Oh, that boy eating good. Look at him. <laughs> Oh, yo, he T-stancing. 
Bro, you see? Oh, that dude gone. What the hell? Y'all seen that? Where the hell he go? Oh, he fly off the ocean. Bro, what the hell? <laughs> I just seen a damn penguin. Y'all want to see that again? Where did he come from? Oh, there he go. Yo, this man really fell in the ocean. <laughs> I'm weak. Damn. Uh, local Roco, yeah. I'm not even reading the chat. My bad, guys. I'm not having too much fun. Uh, yeah, we can go to local Roco. <laughs> Thick. Yeah, bro. I don't even know. Some of these spaces be. It's weird playing kind of offline home. Like you be seeing some crazy stuff. Uh, we have the Mui Mui ship thingy. Bruh, there you go. At least my live stream is not lagging as bad. I'm not too, I think it was dead ass my internet because like I turned down my uh, emulator settings or not my emulator, uh, the freaking Elgato settings. Here's my boys at Mui Mui Island. I used to rock a hairstyle from local Roco called the Maja Dreads and uh, it came from this space. Yo, this boy flowing in air. He's just chilling just chilling i wonder around for a couple hours and there's a i mean see i work on offline all the time so it's like i'm used to it now and i kind of don't mind the offline like working on it but home ain't home without like people that's since it was like a social world lay like chuck's pirate ship running um i'm not even too sure what was lay like chuck's pirate ship um w what was that was that like a Mui Mui thing or was that like some other space? Cause I don't, I, the only pirate ship space I know other than like, it's like cutthroat. Can you go into debug mode and fly to the island? Uh, the other one? Yeah, we could go to there. Let me, um, let me just type this command in so we could do it. All right. So here, yeah. Because Loco Roco is a pretty beautiful ass island. Like, I love the water. I love video game water. What the hell is the island all over there? We should go over that island, but let's go to this one. Could you walk over this island? I'm not too sure. Alright, we got my boy chilling over here. This dude just flowing in the air. They just walking in place. I think we probably don't have that space, sadly. If we find it in cash and I remember it, I will add it into a client. <laughs> oh, really? Nice. So you can see basically all the models are like, I think what they did to this space is cut this off and they just dead ass made it a personal space, which is a smart marketing move. Since why waste the resources and time? But yeah, I love the whole island vibe of this space. Like it reminds me of Kingdom Hearts, like Destiny Island. Um, we could take a little peek inside of here, or actually this place. I think this maybe was like a shop or whatever. The space had like mad posters too. I just noticed. Everyone's just chilling, having a good time. Yo, that fruit look good. Um, yo, I really want to go to this island. Like, yeah, what the hell is that over there? <laughs> yeah, I know mad people are waiting to play home. Home is still like one of my favorite games. Like, for not even kidding you, the past like eight to nine months since I've been working on this project, uh home has been like the only game i've been quote unquote playing on or working on yo i'm really interested to see what the hell's over in this island 
I don't think like our models could go here. Yes, I have Diesel Island. We actually have that rare space. I remember it got uh, canceled out, but we do have it. Oh, these are just boxes here. So what the hell? What is this? Oh, they just waving. So they just like, bro, actually, I feel kind of bad because think about it. These dudes are actually stranded and their island over there. They got to swim back. They ain't got no boat. Look, they got to build <laughs> the, like a boat out of these damn uh, sticks and these wood supplies and trees. All right. Enough messing around. We're going to go to... Uh, whatchamacallit yeah it's weird the space was fully modeled so definitely this was probably was supposed to be used for something oh i didn't recreate the game i just uh i'm helping restore it or preserve it we're gonna go to diesel island though yo i am hungry LBP. Y'all seen that new uh, Little Big Planet thing or that game or like some. It's not like I think it's like a spin off or something. Here is Diesel Island. This was sponsored for like the diesel clothing. They got this boy, there's a goat right here. Yo. There's two goats actually. They just took a like a beach buggy and they jugged it. Like look at this. They just chilling, bro. I respect that. Then they got like this tiki mask. Oh no, it's not a tiki mask. It looks like some like tiki statue. This reminds me like of Hollister or something <laughs> like that. Bro, they got like the shacks in here. Yeah, Fact Boy's Big Adventure for the PS5. I've seen it. It looks okay to me. I wasn't like really a LBP fan, but I like Little Big Planet. Um, you want to go to Debug Cam with this? We could go to Debug Cam every uh space I go to. I just gotta type the command in every time. So like, I'll kind of give you like a backdrop. You can see here the space is really not that big and the skybox isn't really big either um but you could kind of see it has like this beach vibe i know mad people didn't used to chill at the uh this beach but i know mad people would chill at grandzilla like that was like the hangout in irem this was like the little clothing shop front thingy or poster i love the attention to detail like somebody really sat here and did this to all the grass bro like that's pretty amazing for a ps3 game oh there are some tiki mask bro yo this chicken is like on a typewriter this dude got his head knocked off he tweaking yo like these masks are crazy looking uh they use the same model bro either a storm ran through or like somebody got knocked the hell out <laughs> but yeah here is diesel island Used to come here sometimes. I knew it wasn't really popular, but I like this space. I know, bro. Did this beach actually have an area? Nah, this is, yeah, basically this was the beach. Um, I don't think its main purpose was supposed to be like a hub spot more than like just a promotion. Yeah, I know mad people spent mad money on him. We're going to go to uh, Konami Penthouse. Because I want to show you guys that I did restore some original music to Konami. Um, sadly, the mini game dance floor didn't uh, work, but uh, Konami Penthouse uh, music is working now. And I used to love listening to like the electronic, like Japanese DDR style music because I used to play a, a short ton of DDR. Yeah, you can see that like, the dance dance resolution for it's not working, but the music is working. 
Copyrighted because then I have to like re edit this game like the audio out. But, um, yeah. Yo, what's up, Kariji? Oh, Karijo. Um, yo, we got like 32 people in here. That's like more than that. Ah, uh, the music is too loud. I'm sorry. Yeah, I think I forgot. I am talking like normal. What I'll do is go to another space after this. Yes, YouTube is probably gonna clap the hell out of me for playing uh copyrighted music. That they'll probably give me anyway, but um, it's whatever. Cause I'm just gonna appeal it and um, what you gonna call it? Just take out the audio, cause it ain't that serious. It ain't that serious, bro. Yeah, these spaces are really not that outdated. Like, I really love Konami Penthouse. Like, I love the architecture. Yo, I'm trying to look fresh right now. I don't even know, but I really like these track pants. Oh, no, I'm going to wear my, uh, the black. Yeah, it is. I don't even know. Yo. I always like these uh, blades from Japan Home. Got the Glizzy. <sighs> Deathbringer. I don't know if I want to have the Deathbringer on me though, because I really like this. Uh, I just like this shirt. I used to rock this shirt all the time back on home, like the Wipeout one, since it's like Japanese oriented and it was animated. I like this. Let me back the hell out of Konami. Yeah. Hold on. I don't even... Yeah, I don't even think she's in this live stream. I was gonna add her real quick. Cause I know somebody really liked Konami Penthouse too. Really? Get in contact with me, Jakey. Uh, after this live stream, or if you're in the actual chat, DM me. Uh, via Nagato. Yeah, because if you got beta data, bro, beta data is like really, really useful for online since like a lot of that stuff is decrypted and it helps with like SVMLs and stuff like that. So like if you really do have like OG 2008 data, um, let me know. Yes, there is a UFC space. UFC octagon. My boy Wanma fixed the mini game to EA Sports Racing, which is like an old space. All right, cool. Yeah, send me a message or whenever. Diamond Beach is uh, what you call it. Diamond Beach actually has like an issue since like all the models are not running. But uh, I'm gonna play some EA Racing, and then we could go to Diamond Beach. I can show you like what's the issue for it. So basically online uh, for PC, I'm not too sure yet since 
um one of the development team members so uh basically is trying to patch out psn more than likely ps3 will always get online first since home is so uh integrated with uh psn itself per se yo let's see how i split the whip oh my god i cracked Hold on. I never played this uh, back on home since I started in 2011, but I know this was like one of like the EA 2009 mini games. Let me see if I can skirt off with the whip. Yo, I'm doing pretty nice though. Oh, I crashed right when I said that. I used to be really good at racing games. Nah, I don't know. <laughs> I think being on home made me lose my damn ability. And I'm trying to read the chat, so it ain't too good either. But yeah, you can see like the game is working. I was gonna ask something similar in regard. As I know, yes, cause when it comes to like RPCS three, hold on, I had to cancel out the live stream for a second. So if you see the screen go black, uh, it's me because it was lagging. But um, yeah, in terms of like the RPCS three functionality to online, since home was so integrated with PSN, it will be kind of like a very hard task to do that. So I'm not too sure. I don't want to promise anything, but more than likely online will come out for PlayStation three first because there are other games that are trying to get PSN patched. Like there, there's multiple people that is working on like reverse engineering, not just for like home, but there's people like working on Warhawk and just other media space games like Gran Turismo 5 Prologue and stuff like that that's an issue that i can't even really state right now to gary in terms of like ps3 servers since it's so highly integrated then yeah um but somebody said they want to see diamond beach i'm gonna show it really quick but i'm gonna show you the issue with it is there a chance on my psn account yeah so anytime you're on custom firmware guys um or just like any modded device you risk of getting banned so what i will tell people if you're like once online comes i would never utilize your main account on your ps3 and just have like a throwaway that's what i usually do like i don't have any of my main accounts or anything i care about i usually have like a throwaway account so if it does get banned i could just you know buy another cid or you know just make another account please don't use your main accounts people still don't you know listen to me when i say that but yeah but yeah here's diamond beach there's a major issue with this space since like the space requests a lot of objects and items because like for bigger spaces back on playstation home um it wanted like like stuff from the server itself and these were one of the spaces like hancock guy uh grandzilla space from japan does this and like a few others so sadly diamond beach isn't working and for us to find the objects i would need to like basically try to dig in cash and try to hopefully trying to find it um but yeah here's diamond beach i don't even know what space understandably are looking for to blah 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 yeah that's don't that's what i tell people like this offline build that uh you know the team and myself has been like working on releasing this is just like you know something for you guys to tangibly touch home at the right now don't consider like you know offline the main focus because um the major like basically the synopsis to our project is to have a full online client that's the whole goal just having a offline client is something for you know people to test a sandbox and just you know play some of their favorite mini games and just revisit their spaces that they want to go to like from time to time which is you know the main goal uh for offline though i know right see that's crazy like you'll never think e3 would like ever be out like e3 was a part of gaming now like e3 ain't it's like nothing it's crazy and that was just like a couple of years ago like i remember i used i'm cutting off the stream again since i think it's kind of lagging so if it cuts off i do apologize here is hudson gate um one of my favorite spaces from toyo kyle or one of my friend's favorite spaces he loves this uh hudson gate 
so I helped or he helped me restore like the original like video to it yeah is it still lagging because if it is I probably will start back in yeah I may need to turn the bitrate down even more because I'm I'm not even too sure um yes this was the dolphin space Alright, this is going to be a black screen, but tell me how, like, the actual video shows for a second. Oh, no. Let me see. I'm just trying to test out some things. Yeah, I don't like this. We in Hollywood Hills, but I'm, like, trying to configure some uh, settings real quick. Yeah, because that looks horrendous. Yeah, we're gonna go back to this and um Okay. Let me uh I'm not too sure of what it's doing on the screen now. I'm trying to like resize it. I don't know if you like actually see that in real time. How fast is my internet speed? Probably like hell. Is there any chance places homes coming back? Yeah it is with some settings real quick yeah but my internet is pretty trash bro <laughs> like i don't know it was like fine the other day but now it's like and i'm not even uploading and stuff here's hollywood hills i know this used to be like a hot spot just for like people to chill at if it's six megabytes up turn a bit right to three thousand if it's three megabytes I could do like an online speed test real quick. I don't even. According to. Well, I'm just going to let that run in the background. But, um. It says 12.9 megabits. Hold on. My download speed is 12.9. And my upload speed is 13. It's like toggling between 13. All right, so yeah, they said my internet speed is typical. Yeah, did like the mad people vibe in this space or something? I know like a lot of people used to chill at the daytime one too. I'm gonna try to put the bit rate to like 2000. See if that does anything. Oh, you did? Uh, I'll type it to you 12 megabytes. It was like basically 12 megabytes upload and download. So I'm roughly estimating. change my shirt because yeah all right the stream looks kind of better now I'm just trying to like look at the stream. 
but yeah anybody who's joined thank you I may I don't even know what I want to do I'm just trying to burn some time all right cool yeah I'm sorry guys I don't know like I had all my settings correctly and then um what you gonna call it I don't even know like the thing was just tweaking out of nowhere Oh, we could go to uh, Ratchet and Clank. Yeah, sorry for this. Should go to OG OG Home Square. Which OG Home Square? We got like, because people call it Central Plaza, but it's like an old, old one. Yes, uh, my boy Wanma. I um I'll show you guys what I did. I added this video here for Ratchet and Clank. Um let me go ahead and walk over it to it. Okay. Yeah, the curse of streaming just sucks, but um since I'm very impatient, we're gonna speed run through this. You can see here that I have like an original Ratchet and Clank. I think I use like the um one of their advertisements for like their collection back on PS3. I just added that there so it has like some whatchamacallit. Just some like nostalgic vibes. Over here we got my boy the Groovatron. One more How's the stream looking like 1080p everything good no lagging because I, I lowered the bit rate my guy uh what you gonna call it helped me out red scorpion thank you for that um let's go to somebody said og home square bro um Yeah, that's what I'm thinking too. All right, I'm at 720 60 FPS. Cool, I could do it. Um, 720 if I have to. If it's 720 and it's not lagging, then I could do with that because I don't know. Um. Somebody was looking for an original home square and I don't know where I put it at. Oh, is that 1080? Nice. That's even more better.
I'm like, sorry guys, I'm like multitasking like hell right now. Um, I'm trying to find original home square. I swear I do not know where I put it at. It's gonna, I've been, you know, it's crazy. I played with this build for so long. I don't even remember some of the stuff like, oh, there it go. Yeah, I know I labeled it as original home square. Mr. Hub, Japanese home square was my favorite home square. Here is the um Here's the original home square. Any updates for online play at the moment? No. But here's like the original uh, home square. Hey, what's up? What's up? We're in an hour into this. That's crazy. Yeah, but this was like the original home square, like back in the day. This is like a very, very old version. Like this is dating back to like 2008. This like this particular one. Yeah. You know, we chilling out here, bro. Could pretty up this space, put some like movie posters in here. But yeah, this is like one of the old original home square things. I know there were like a couple of videos I could probably put right here. Um, because we did this for the 97 client. Alright. Sorry if you see me speed running this has been around, but um really like um this space. One of like it's a classic home space you know had the bowling alley here it's just it was a really cool looking space i did like a uh, messing with home square back on like 0.89 and 97 home yeah for real they they used to tease the hell out of you speaking of the bowling alley let's go to the bowling alley my guy Yes, thank you, Red Scorpion, if you're listening to me right now. Shout out to you because you fixed my live stream. I don't know. It was bugging. I didn't even changed none of my settings, but like now it's fine. So I'm like, huh? But yeah, we go to the bowling alley. Yeah, home had really good like sound. Like that was really good for that. All right, we're going to go to the bowling alley. This version, for some reason, uh, since the way how the older bowling alley worked in older builds, basically, um, the mini game was like integrated with the space. However, in newer versions of the bowling alley, like the pool table and the actual bowling game are separate. However, uh, my boy Wanma, he's fixed some of the mini games like this Echo Chrome and Icebreaker, which I used to play a lot. How many spaces are we still missing? Um, uh, I, don't, I don't know what's like a good estimate since there's always like different versions to spaces but mm, I know we're missing a lot like that we can access now we have about like 260 or 70 spaces in total but there's like special edition ones like you know Japanese home square from like uh, winter holiday uh, there's like you know holiday editions they are also um, like version one editions like from beta home that we're missing there's also spaces that never made it to like out of prod qa or development so there's a lot of spaces we are missing that we just don't know but um yeah playstation home is has like in terms of spaces and stuff we are still missing a lot of like personal ones
Insignia, yeah, I'm playing Icebreaker. I'm like, I'm sucking bad at it because I'm like looking at the live stream and I'm like trying to, uh, whatchamacallit, multitask. The Echo Chrome game works too as well, which I love playing Echo Chrome. I love the soundtrack to it. 28 people in here. Thank you guys. Y'all make me feel special. For real. Like, y'all gave me something to do today. I want Japan's bowling. Yo, if somebody got Japanese bowling alley somehow, like from Welcome. data. I would like Let's cry begin. because I'm trying to get like. See, I love Japan home so much, so I'm really trying to get a multitude of like all Japanese items from like Japan home and spaces. Beautiful. But yeah, you can see here uh, the mini games are working in the offline client. Like this is playing legitly on my PS3. But um, yeah, I'm gonna skadoodle sk out of here. Um, don't even know what I could show. We can go to uh, I want to show some more development spaces. Actually, we can go to the baking light scene. Echo Chrome, yeah, Echo Chrome was fire. This space was a development unit space, and um, it was just to like showcase and talk about like lighting and stuff and how you can utilize, um, you know, lighting for certain spaces. So like they have like little interactive menus and themes that you can toggle between just to like learn more about how you can create your own spaces in PlayStation Home. Oh, the Iron Man outfit. Yo, I'm about to make your day. I think I do have that. No cap. Late. I'm going to be out here looking like Iron Man and fly. I don't know where I have it at. Um, Dude, I really want to find Iron Man. I know I have it. I think this is it. Yeah, there it go. Because I know I didn't label it. Yo, we flexing. Um, I don't even know what space. I'm just, I'm going to be randomly choosing spaces. Uh, Actually, let me go to my favorites list. Do I have the playground? I'm going to go to the PG. Oh, sorry for the question. What are spaces? Spaces are basically um, environments. So, like, for example, the playground is a space. The King R. I was saying Kingdom Hearts. Konami Penthouse is a space. Um, people call it scenes or spaces. It's basically the same thing. Yes, the... Okay, I could tell you something special about this Iron Man outfit. In EU Home, uh, Audi did, like, for the Audi spaces, they did, like, a competition. I forgot how to... Uh, like explain it but there was like some special competition where only five people in the entire world could get this outfit so only like five people who play playstation home legitly got this however um you know basically if you uh you know hacked back in the day or use like sdns or like ise or, or not an ise excuse me i like i item catch exploit you could uh you know utilize this outfit yeah, bro. The playground used to be deep as hell. Yo, yo. I'm about to break dance in a second. Hold on. Yes, I love the playground. I actually, uh, one of the developers who work on the playground is actually in the Discord. Name Adrian. Very cool guy. Yo, yo, you ever met a gangsta ass Iron Man? Oh, here you have it. Yo, we crib walking. 3W? Yeah, the fam. Yeah. I think they still around on Nebula. <laughs> I never joined fams on home, though. Your facts. Bro. Iron Man is like, yo, he got so much drip right now, bro. You can't even, yo, you can't even tell Iron Man nothing. Look at that. Boom. 
I'm just playing with y'all guys. I'm just talking smack. In fact, bro, like, yo, he a blood though. He ain't a crip. <laughs> Yo, facts. Um, let me see. We're gonna go to another space though. <laughs> he said he was crit walking. Yo, everybody used to argue back and like, uh, I'll show you. It was it, there were like the main hotspots when people used to argue it was like Singstar, Playground, uh, freaking Grandzilla Beach. Uh, The Godfather used to be wild though. <laughs> I just like I don't understand people arguing back on home though like I guess it was just mad teenagers with like testosterone problems <laughs> I ain't even gonna lie I used to like when people used to troll me I used to get angry as hell too <laughs> dead oh yes I gotta look gangster um I have to find the Godfather. I added the official music to the Godfather, and I also added like the official trailer that played in there. I did restore that myself. I was bored. And I was like, "Yo, I have to fix the Godfather." Cause yeah, yo, what is happening? Can I do glitches? I suck. I'm not even too sure, my guy, bro. Nine gigabytes from 2010? Yo, send me a picture of that. Don't make me hyper for no reason. Because if you really did, do you know what that means? Like, if you really have 10 gigabytes, you need to get in contact with me. Like, immediately. <laughs> Did I ban you on Discord? I don't recall me banning on nobody. You sure? All right, so what the hell? Why is it saying BZB? Yo, so we at the Godfather, you know. Let me take off this damn gangster walk. Which update will we have, fams? Uh, what do you mean? Like, the offline update? I'm doing another offline update today. Uh. Bro. Surf. Oh, you mean that little virus link you try to send me, bro? Who try to add me? Oh, Rick Grizzly. Hey, yeah, send me that picture, man. All right, cool. Yeah, but I'm just chilling on freaking uh, home right now. I don't even like, I'm just like so excited just to show you guys this stuff because it's like it's pretty cool oh somebody said the midway i'm so sorry oh it's worth it Uh, no, I don't play any uh, Warzone. Oh, really, really nice. Actually, my guy. Um, Make sure, Rizzy, if you hear me, I'll type it to you too. Make sure you transfer with a USB since there is data loss. And if you're transferring via with a uh, Ethernet cable, 
uh, or basically over Wi-Fi, then yeah. Does the midway actually work? Uh, sadly, no. Like, cause a lot of the mini games are encrypted. But um, yeah, I used to always come here to the midway, and uh, like, bro, they used to scam me my money, cause I always would want to play um, the rebound game, the casino. We do have the casino space. Uh, Risley, I'm going to, uh, or you probably hear me type it to you right now. Yeah, if you know how to use Multiman, uh, let me know and upload that data and raw it and zip it for me. And I'll definitely take a look at it today. How I'm on this, I am using, uh, an offline client, which you could download yourself. And yeah, oh, you could download yourself via with RPCS3 and a uh, PC or a PS3 and if you have like a Dex PlayStation 3 you can play this but as you can see this is what the game looks like without no uh, like objects um but yeah you can see like Darla darts used to be here I used to always want to play this rebound game because of like the little mini game bro um penny pincher or high roller I used to play all these mini games back in the day they try to be suspect. Look at that. Look at that. Bro. They really tried it, bro. Ball squeezer. Like, come on now. See, home be trying to get a little raunchy. Home be trying to get a little raunchy, my guy. <laughs> Facts. Uh, let's go to casino. Oh, uh, yeah. I remember, like, waiting for, like, an hour or so to, like, just even to get, like, those freebie tickets. I remember. I gotta go to the casino, so I gotta find, uh... <sighs> yeah, I know, right? Yo, we got 30 people watching this. That's kind of scary. Like, I don't know. I make me low key kind of feel uh, like somewhat popular. <laughs> Just like mad people watching me at once. It's weird, kind of. I don't know. Here is the casino. This was like, I don't know what version this was, but I know that, um, this was probably utilized for the, um, maybe even a special tournament. I'm not too sure because it's not even allowing me to go through the other spaces. Hey, Beastly. I was just talking about you earlier. I was like showing one of the spaces I archived from you. Mm-hmm. Actually, I think this came from your cache data specifically. Do we got BZB, my guy? Not only we don't have, or not only we do have BZB, uh, my boy Wanma fixed the game for it too. So if you guys have a, like, uh, whatchamacallit, um, RPCS3 or Dex PS3, you could play it yourself. But uh, yeah, we'll go to BZB real quick. I just gotta scroll through like 200 damn spaces. I need to check my cell phone because, yeah. I don't even know. Yeah, so here's B Burn Zombie Burn. Um, you can see here that the video is working as well. And you can see 
here that uh what you might call it the mini game if I go into I think this room I believe yeah it works so I'm cheating like hell right now since I got speed run but you can see like I'll just kill myself uh, you can see collision works but you can see that the BCB game is working just fine Oh yeah, the video was like OD loud, man. Um, I'm a cheat. Let's see, but you you guys get the gist of how I like to do the maze. I'm about to cross, homie. If he flip back, I'm screwed. Oh, I thought he flipped back, bro. I need to go on with that. Oh snap, I got scared. Let me see. I think it was like Easter egg from um the whatchamacallit. So you can see like the minigame works. Uh but yeah, I think I know what glitch you're talking about. Like I don't know if it's this tree. Could I add seven space or seven wins? We do have the space and we have the object, but um whatchamacallit, it's encrypted. We do have seven wins though. We we have a bunch of like personal spaces. Um but it's crazy that seven wins, like the space is not really fun without it since uh I don't know. It doesn't have like the actual thing, but yeah, we do have pallets of the seven wins. All right. Let me see. So here's Palace of the Seven Winds, bro. I used to like this space a lot. Let me see something. All right. Yo, I thought that was me, bro. I'm actually on Facebook Messenger. I'm trying to talk to somebody right now. And uh, it's down. Thank you for telling me that because, like, yeah. Because I'm, like, over here trying to, I'm like, what? I thought somebody, like, ignored me. <laughs> I was like, what? Zai, we could go to Zai real quick if y'all guys want. I'm getting that. Oh, I fell off the map, bro. Damn. Yeah, see, this is the issue with this base. Since it doesn't have flying capabilities, you just fall. However, with the power of knowing teleportation commands, if I do it correctly, I will spawn hopefully on top of back of the map. All right, so here. Oh, well, hold on. I'm actually falling in place. I need to use this teleport command. There I go. So yeah, you can see why this space has its issues due to, uh, you know, not having that mini game since it's encrypted. But you can see here, um, you know, the palace itself where we got like, feeling like Aladdin and stuff. You dig, you, you, you feel me? Anyone noticed that? I don't even know, man. I, I thought it was something else, bro. Like, I'm over here, like, trying to talk to somebody, and I thought they were dubbing me. Somebody said about UFC. I just reminded myself. How's the stream? Still looking good? Yeah. Home had like mad big spaces. Um, I'm gonna try to crank. Hopefully, this don't messes me up. All right, we're gonna do uh, 
I'm literally gonna do 3,000. Please stay with me. Here's like the UFC spiting or fighting space. I need to add posters and videos. I didn't even know that. I can add like mad UFC fighter stuff. And I need to fix the sky, bro. I don't know if this space was like nighttime or whatever. But, um. Yeah, you can see. I actually never really been to this space, like, until like, I was messing with the offline client. Because, um. Yeah. Ah, this thing is guarded up here. Oh, wait, no, you go all the way at the top. Yo, I actually like this space, bro. This space is actually pretty cool. Oh, okay, so a couple of frames has been dropping. All right, so I think I found my sweet spot, Red Scorpion. Because I'm, like, that's what I'm doing. I'm trying to see how far I could push the thing, but... I have it at 3,000 kilo, uh, kilobits per second. So I'm literally just going to have it at 2,500. Or no, I had it. Yeah, I'm going to have it at 2,500. Just to say save. And then, yeah. All right. So I think it's just my internet messing with me today. Oh, the offline build um we already have like the the offline build you're seeing right now it's already public like i released 200 plus spaces and you get all that plus i have client updates as well for it so what i usually do if you're you're staying into with the destination home server i always update the build so whether if i'm adding like new clothing um new spaces and scenes and everything else um that's what i do so i like just how like home had patches in like just any other game i actually do the patches myself mainly as well i have a offline content development team who uh, helps me add like clothing fix mini games and other stuff so um you know the offline build could be as you know as great as it could be um but here's one of the spaces it's like a spooky dream yacht space Let me see. Yeah, at 1.86 is this. Um, 1.86 comes with like all of the 200 plus base spaces and then it comes with uh, everything else. I am trying to, I don't even know what to do. I'm trying to think I could show you uh, some other stuff but I fixed that space the other day I will release the Japanese space later on today after I uh, end this live stream because that's what I was originally gonna do like I was not originally gonna live stream at all I just I was so bored I was like let me do this Nah, you're good, man. We're just chilling on here. What is today? I don't even know today is. Today is a Monday. I felt like it was a Friday. Yes, I was heavily back in. Like, home got me into modding. I used, like, the old DNSs back in the day. I've done, like, Mohack, ISC, IC. Like, basically any exploit that was on home, bro, I did it. <laughs> like, home got me into modding. Let me, uh change my clothes i always change my clothes i i always do this i don't know why like i don't know yes uh one of the offline content team developers he actually got one of the 
mini games because the way how buzz worked was was on a online server of course so um the, the questions came from an online server however he is remapping the questions themselves to be for the offline client yo not even gonna lie bro i thought i was the freshest kid on the block with like this red bull jacket i'm not even kidding like this red bull jacket i thought i was so fresh with it i don't even know what to rock with this oh no nah, i like to use the post-apocalyptic mask fact bro i'm a little fashion like person bro What's the difference between the fixed config? Use the fixed config if you're using RPCS3 because it has like all of the texture fixes in it. The base build didn't have it. Yeah. Bro. Yo, you know home had Nikes, right? These were like the old Nike Air Max. They have some Nike KDs too. Home did have Nikes, bro. I'm trying to find like the white van skate shoes. There you go. Some of my clothing items doesn't have um whatchamacallit. Mm-hmm. We're going to go to Desert Haven, Haven. What? The sky is not working for this space? Oh, I got to fix. Okay. That's what I need to do. I need to make a list. I thought I fixed all the damn skies. But this was like the desert heaven. I really like this space. It got like this really uh clean vibe look to it. Like it looks like some Kardashian stuff. You gotta go with the fresh zombie the Yeezy zombie editions, bro. The the Yeezy <laughs> the zombie threes. Yo, I haven't like but I feel like I want to add like some Jordans on here or something, but that's how you get the, the copyright slap. Um, I really like this spot. I just really like this spot. I need to fix the sky so it has like that really like sunset vibe to it. I'm just like picking out spaces randomly at this point because I am not too sure. Yeah, home had really good audio. This was like the movie theater set. I never owned this space, but I know people who used to vibe with it. And like, I think actually create like home movies in it. Like it's pretty crazy. Like people were actually making full on home movies. Men in Black. Yeah, I remember that. Uh, I, I had it in my crib or I had it in a uh, Harvard studio.
Yeah, we could do that. I remember so many people. Really? People fight at the Men in Black headquarters? I didn't even know that. How the hell people beef here? Oh, yeah. Godfather then. Yeah, for sure. We could go back to the Lockwood um space. Oh, what we could do after Lockwood though, I do want to show off the Red Bull mini game. Here's a Lockwood uh, gift shop. It doesn't have any of the objects and items to it due to the fact that they were requested from online servers and it basically were like objects. Like a lot of like newer spaces uh, did this method on how to create uh, like full models other than like older spaces back in the day just had like everything into one space due to I guess keeping memory down. And I see that's crazy Biff. Yep, but here is the Lockwood gift shop. There's a little uh, panda bear stuck up there. I feel so bad. I wish I could grab him. Yeah, I know. Um, what was I saying? Oh, Red Bull, Red Bull. Red Bull Air Race. Hot tub? Oh, uh, what space? And Red Bull? I'm not too sure. I know, like, Red Bull, they had, like, the Air Race game, which works. I'm pretty dope at this Red Bull game, though. Like, I'm... I don't know, I'm pretty good at it. Uh, I'm killing it right now. Let me... See, home is pretty fun when you're not, like, always developing for it. So, like, I'm actually getting to play. Acorn and home looks better. <laughs> yeah. Acorn Meadows is one of my like favorite well it wasn't my favorite oldest scenes. I want the winter edition though. I just killed myself, but uh We could go to the Halloween edition. I like that one. Barrel? Nah, bro. I crashed. <laughs> I'm just reading y'all stuff. Here is uh, the sky for uh, I always like the the Halloween version. Like, got like the green goo, got like that haunted look. Yeah, we could check out some Halloween themed spaces. Halloween themed Acorn Park was pretty fire. I think there was new I know there was winter holiday one which I really want I think there was probably a new year's one oh snap I'm falling off
There was um there was a regular one. We do have the fourth of July one, which I like. Here's the nighttime uh, acorn meadows part for like 4th of July. There's that. Yeah, I don't know if the fireworks are actually enabled. Um, I don't even know what space to go to next because it's like so many. Let's see what's in my favorites list. It's probably from the same as last times. Yeah, it's just the same stuff. We could go to um, Pig Vox Labs. I used to vibe with this space. Oh, I could show you guys a showy kingdom. Let me see. Who is this? Yeah, we're planning on doing that. Like once online is uh, like on, we're planning on having like movie nights, uh, just typical meetups and community meetings, uh, maybe like mini games and maybe hosting stuff like, uh, you know, fundraisers. We're looking into that. Uh, Pigavox Ninjas. Yeah, sadly, none of the mini games are working for this space since they're encrypted. But um, yeah, I used to always spend my time here at Pigavox Labs in Japan home. I know like a lot of people used to glitch here as well. Oh yeah, my PlayStation, like this PlayStation is like my workhorse though. Like I have multiple PS3s. But um, we could go to uh, Pigvox Ninjas. Same home played a very vital role into like my life, low key or high key. Pickavox had really cool items for male and female. I felt like I always loved like the little swords and stuff. Bro, I am mad at Pickavox. Yo, we should have got that. We really should. I'm gonna go to uh, Pikavox Ninjas. I used to play Pikavox Monsters in Japan too, Jinx. Like, I used to rock the gas mask you could, uh, won from the game. And, like, basically it was just, like Pokemon uh, for home. And I remember they had, like, so many cool little, uh, like, uh, companions you could, uh, rock. There were, like, so many of them too. We should be back on. I remember the zombie made. I actually do. Did did you happen to find that in data at all, or any Pikavox monster stuff? I try to look what I have, and I, I didn't find that. You know what's really cool about this space? They got like all of the developers who worked on here, um, posted up on that board right there, which is really cool. I like how they did that. Home had like over 60,000 items. Like, home had, and those are just items that were like for retail. Like, there's so many items that were in prod QA and like for development that never got to sell retail stores. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah, we need to find somebody with like Japanese home data from like uh, under 1.83 build. Like, we need somebody with Japanese ISE too. Like, if we had somebody that used to mod Japanese ISC, then yeah. Or, like, ice and stuff. 
let me see what space we're going to call of duty i yeah i think we actually have the call of duty outfit restored could have sworn i do recall somebody finding that maybe it was jinx i'm not too sure but i do recall seeing it once again Thank you guys for, you know, tuning in and stuff. I think I'm probably going to choose like two or three more spaces and then just wrap it up because I am needing to get a bite to eat. But um, I may do this later on. I randomly was doing this like I, I had like no reason to live stream. Um, But here is the PlayStation Move uh, event space. What I did was just add like one of the official PlayStation Move like advertisements just to give like something for you know the end user to watch i remember there used to be a mini game and used to win the actual like playstation move outfit which we do have restored or it's not in here let me go to i don't know like jinx i've seen so much clothing bro at this point like everything's starting to look the same to me i know like there's so many outfits on home I'm trying to find uh, the PlayStation Move outfit. Yeah, here's the Call of Duty outfit. Somebody, maybe we were talking about. Oh, there's another one. This may be what y'all guys talking about. Woods. Stormtrooper. Oh, yeah, I remember mad people rocking a Stormtrooper. Here's the PlayStation Move remote. No vibe and stuff, bro. Like, home was crazy. You could literally just be a PlayStation Move remote if you wanted to. Yo, that's me. 2010. This so wasn't a copy of, like, the Wii remote at all. Totally not. Bro. The Cantina? We could go to there. If you have either a beefy uh, PC, uh, Gamer Ghost 89 if you have a beefy PC, you could either play on our PCS3, or you could do what I'm doing, which is using a PlayStation 3 that's on DeX, or if you have like a actual development kit, or like a debug unit, you could run this via with DeX firmware, via with the use of Prodigy Target Manager. Um... soda cup oh i'm like i'm sorry dude like i'm over here reading comments and i probably passed it I, I i've probably done this like 20 times this live stream oh there it go i see it i see it. i see it dang i've been live streaming for two hours and 20 seconds probably a little bit more than that because i was having some implications earlier Here is a uh, Star Wars Cantina. I used to come here sometimes. Like I know Frosties used to come in here. Nice. Yeah, Jinx is like the goat, bro. She she handles all the clothing. Like I used to be into like doing the clothing, and it's like, what well, I'm kind of like all around. Like I do. I'm trying to get into LMOs and learn how to like restore those, but um, when it comes to clothing, dude, that's like her forte. I have like, I basically what I'm like my goal is and focusing on now is like fixing like the skies and uh just working on the full client in terms of like restoring like pictures, uh, music, uh, and all that other stuff and pushing like math updates though. And like here, I'm like, I'll usually work here and there with like clothing sometimes though, but not really as much as I used to. 
Yo, this place. Oh, I can't even walk in here. The fuck? I had to turn back on a live stream. It was lagging. But yeah, here's a Star Wars Cantina. Yeah, I'm basically working on like the environment. Like that's like usually I worked on like rebuilding the spaces. Okay, yeah, so more about that. What I use for references is either well, I use a multitude of things. I either data mine or not data mine. Well, I go data mining online trying to find like original posters. I either look in cache data, I either look in old photos I have or just sheer memory. I also look at a lot of old YouTube videos and articles to like get pictures and look at spaces because like the thing is about home like for example i'll show you right now like where the navigator is i took my time to find like the original data that used to be here all these pictures i took my either if i had to make custom ones that's what i did if i had to but like for example i try to get like the official japanese information for you know granzilla hankagai space for our Aram or irem seaside or however you pronounce it i did that same thing with like the japanese mall I try to like, you know, give like as much as like originality to these spaces and scenes as possible. So like it's very similar to the end user. That's what I try to like do. But yeah, restoring it, it takes time. And the re only reason why I think I know so much about Place of Home is because I played a lot of it as a teenager. And I was very obsessive over home back in the day, too. Like, I was, like, into item databases and modding home, which actually, you know, played a big role. Sodium, sodium, sodium. All right. So, we got sodium, the minigame running. Yeah. It is a it's a very big project like the 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 sheer size of home and restoration is crazy yeah same here i was in middle school i started home in eighth grade like i'm only uh 21 about to go on 22. i'm just a teenager yeah i play i yo i played mad in middle school and high school like it ended in 10th grade for me I'm trying to find sodium and I'm over here talking. Um, I really, 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 really need to remember where my stuff is at. Cause I'm like tweaking. All right. Yeah. This is the one. Yeah. Becoming, I'm, I'm telling you this now, if I didn't work on a home or like played home as much, I don't think I would have a, uh, <laughs> to home yeah i mean home is home bro like home is home <laughs> i i can't say anything else yeah we got the uh salt shooter mini game running wanma did this for us yeah home was i think very special to me in a sense because you probably guys think I'm like very talkative. I'm very shy, to be honest. I'm a very shy person. And um, home was kind of like an outlet for me to like be, or like just to interact with people with like minds, like, and just, you know, to kind of find my identity. Yes, my boy Juan, he did some magic. And then I fixed like the directories cause it wasn't working on PS3. And then yeah, and then the textures. Yes, I never actually used to play Sodium Shooter, but like I've been kind of low-key addicted to it. Oh, I'm nice with it. Got him. I'm pretty, I ain't gonna lie, I'm kind of beast at this. I'ma probably play this and like just talk to you guys. Oh, they is messing me up. I'm about to say that up on my camp. YouTube won't clap me. What the hell I'm aiming at? There you go. Bop. Got him. Let's get him. Bop. Got him. Oh, they on 
on me. Where are they coming from, bro? Holy snap. I'm gonna play till I die. This is gonna be public. Yeah, the build, you can play this right now. Like, if you have a Dex PS3 or RPCS3, you can play everything I'm playing right now. Guitar Hero? Yeah, we have one of the Guitar Hero spaces. And I tried to find a mini game to it, but sadly I didn't. But yeah, I used to play like the little music game. Oh man, I'm dying. Man, you boy better back the hell up. I can't believe my stream ain't lagging right now that much. Or maybe it is. Yeah, home was revolutionary. Ah, I died. Well, that, I did pretty good for like just we looking. We enjoyed your taste of our salt shooter game. Salt shooter. Salt shooter pilot jacket from the it's funny because I, I pronounce salt shooter salt instead of like salt shooter. I'll be like salt shooter. Quick question, Primus Original. If anybody who's watching this live stream, if they have PlayStation Home, please or still on their device, please get in contact with me because that's how we restoring these spaces. Like everything you see here is coming from people's data. Like it's not just like coming from some magical place. It's like coming from you know some from like original data from people's PS3s. Back when it was shutting down, I never thought there would be so many. Yes, bro. I'll tell you this before once home closed down I wanted it back immediately like I I've literally been be, like even 2016 2017 I've been wanting home back <laughs> like yes you can you could hold up let me do this for you my guy i'm a i'm a bless you real quick let me go into all right this link right here all right this link right here is the official rpcf3 build you could download this yourself and if your pc is beefy enough you can have all 200 spaces that i'm playing on right now and if you join our official Discord, then yeah. Ah, damn, that's tough. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. Here's the... I think this is the Uncharted back online. I don't know anything about Uncharted. Here's like one of the... Uh, spaces i like restored in terms of the video i added like a jay leno car video i'm in the cars a lot so that's one space i did so weird that it's a ford space they had on home but they never showcased the mustang they rather showcase like a ford focus which is fine too but like it's not even a cool looking one it was like not even a focus it was a fiesta Yes, make sure, um, Passion Planet, you just, yeah, I had to cut off my live stream for a second. Hopefully, uh, everything will be back on, but, um, when you do the patches, make sure you're just doing it in chronological order. So, like, start from, like, literally patch one, and then just go to two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, you know, such and so forth. But, yeah, I think I am going to call it quits right now since I've been live streaming for two hours. Maybe this weekend around, like, I don't know, Saturday and Sunday, I could probably live stream. But um, I think I am going to be ending the live stream for you guys. So I just want to say thank you all for watching. All right, cool. Yeah, I'm going to go grab me a bite to eat. I'm probably going to release this patch soon. Yeah, you can either. Yeah, please let me know in terms of clothing. Uh, me and Jinx, if you want any type of clothing, we could pull it to the side for you. 
and we can apply that into like higher patches because what i usually do we um whatchamacallit thank you thank you all Alrighty, i'll see you guys in the next stream peace